Hello, Nick here. In this video, entitled Rotating Sphere Earth versus Line of Sight to the Horizon, Part 3. Now, in this video, as opposed to the other videos, I added where the moon is uh, in, con in relation to the sun. So, the moon is not a source of light. Its light comes from the sun. It is 230... 9,000 miles away from the Earth, approximately. And the sun over there uh, is 93 million miles away. And there's the Earth. And there's you directly under the sun. Now, I got the dark side of the Earth noted here. So the sun, okay lights up this side of the earth and the other side is dark same thing for the moon the light of the sun lights up this side of the moon and now you have the dark side of the moon the half of the moon and half the earth is always lit up by the sun okay it's a rot rotating spherical earth okay once again that's you that represents you midday on the horizon uh, pointing west at the horizon. Okay, so let's uh, take a look at uh, what happens when you rotate the earth. Okay, we're going to rotate the earth. We're going to rotate that earth. Let's rotate it. So the earth is rotating. See, it's rotating. Okay. And the line of sight comes up and gets closer and closer to the sun okay do you see that the line of sight from the earth from you you're rotating what governs the line of sight is the rotation of the earth Ro okay so now your line of sight is just underneath that sun but look what you're standing at now you're standing at the edge of light and dark okay the edge of where the the sun is hitting the earth and the darkness the dark side or the dark side of the earth okay now I made a little notation here okay three minutes it takes three minutes so your line of sight is just at the bottom of the sun standing on the water's edge of the ocean okay you're at the water's edge okay so it takes about three minutes to go from here to there see you can't see the sun anymore you might see a little glow but you can't see the sun the reason why you can't see the sun is because see here your line of sight now is below this line of sight and the earth is blocking, blocking, uh, blocking your line of sight to the sun. Now, over here, I want to show you, uh, let, let's, uh, let's back this up. So, I made a picture of the moon, okay, and you can see when it's lined up, lined up with the sun, and half the moon, see that line? Okay, half the moon is lit up by the sun. Now when you turn, when you rotate, notice, notice what happens. In relationship to you over here, okay, what happens to that moon? It changes position, it looks like it changes position, but it doesn't, but the, um, so you're seeing the moon in daylight okay you're seeing the moon in daylight because you can see the sun and the moon at the same time okay see the profile of the moon you can see the lit side but you can't see the dark side it's blue because you have to look through our atmosphere to see it okay so as we turn as we turn okay that moon changes perspective changes your perspective of it 
as as far as the line of sight is concerned okay so we we get to our the end of our line of sight to the sun but now look where the moon is so look okay the moon hasn't changed okay but the profile hasn't changed either except that it's lower on the horizon line of line of sight okay as the moon gets as we get closer as we rotate more we're, we're uh, in darkness so we see the moon and that has turned from the color of the atmosphere to dark because it's dark there's no light to to turn the atmosphere to blue okay and as the look so let's orientate ourselves now to where we are standing in the darkness okay look where the moon is looking it looks like it's looking down okay this is reality this is what you will see when you look at the moon okay but the moon hasn't changed it is stationary on the paper there's no movement of that moon okay so same thing for the moon the moon is pointing down you can see it but it's closer to your line of sight see the line of sight so now the moon disappears okay and you're in total darkness you can't see the moon and you can't see the sun why can't you see the moon or the sun because it's below each one is below your line of sight okay so the moon is not self-lit it's not self-luminous it's only light is the light of the sun okay that moon doesn't change it, its profile doesn't change just because it's after the sun goes down okay okay so if, if the moon was its own light after the sun uh, went away okay it would change it it would change its uh, it would change its light signature okay it doesn't it stays the same light signature the whole way through because the moon is not self-lit it's only light even after dark even after we're in darkness and the Sun seems to go away and according to the flat earth it, it's on the other side of the earth but it's not you're on the other side of the earth okay you're on the other side of the Sun you're on the dark side that's uh, shielded from light from the lit side and same thing for the moon okay and just because you rotate doesn't change the signature light of the moon okay so the moon doesn't change just because the Sun goes away if if when the Sun went away the signature of the moon would change but it doesn't look up in the sky make some videos and you'll see what I'm talking about okay the only side of the moon that is ever lit up is the side facing the Sun when the moon's light is facing west towards the Sun only the west side of the moon is lit up when the moon, when you're facing east okay in the morning and the Sun is to the east side of the moon it appears that the east side of the moon is lit up okay it's all the moon's light is always tracking the light of the Sun it is not its own light sorry guys sorry to burst your bubbles